Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. We have a special visitor here on The Boiling Point. This is Scott Lynch, president of the American Boiler Manufacturers Association, um, an organization that uh, we belong to, and we're excited to have him here. Um, Scott, I, I'll tell you, um, always love going to your events. Uh, you have two a year. Right. Um, and, and, and tell me a little bit about those, where so, they're at. So, and, and the Manufacturers Conference. Yes, so so right. we have two main meetings a year that are more of the CEO level event. Mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, it's, it's an opportunity to network with those in the industry. It's an opportunity for the industry to come together and talk about issues that are impacting us, mm -hmm. as well as it's an opportunity to hear from both people in the boiler industry, different product groups, and the issues that they're dealing with. And also, so it's talking either to the audience saying like, this is a burner, this is a burner trend, mm -hmm. or having somebody come in to talk about something dealing with a topic. Um, and so it's, it's really where the industry meets and, yeah. and, and where we come together. And in those meetings, stuff boils up that we address outside of that that helps the industry. And always at okay places. Okay places, yeah, 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 yeah. We get, we get, we get by, yes. we get by yes. at some of these locations. But, but we, try to, we try to keep it west coast, east coast, central mm -hmm. um you know the opera it, it's it's really about making sure that we're going to different places so people you know so there's also an experience that people are, are, are hoping to have while they're there our summer meeting actually has families that come to mm. so we try and we know the boiler industry is a big family i mean yeah. when you when you go to these meetings i mean these people are competitors but they're also you know friends and colleagues outside and they're all struggling with the same issues yeah and yeah. uh and if we can bring everybody together and and make people feel like that the issues that they're dealing with are, 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 are not unique and, and hopefully try to help them problem solve and help them with that, you yeah. know? And so, and, but then we recently just had a manufacturer's conference in, uh, in Tulsa, mm -hmm. which was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, 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 it over expectations for everything. Um, we've done this three times um, since we brought it back. Right. First time it had 40 attendees in Detroit. The second time we did it in Houston, it had 70. And this time it had 120 attendees. Wow. It was huge. And we were able to tour um, a burner manufacturer, a tube manufacturer, and a boiler manufacturer. Yeah. There's nowhere else you can do that, right? No, no. So for an attendee, for, for our, somebody who's with a company who just joined up, doesn't really know the boiler industry too well, is trying to kind of get their feet wet, coming to that and seeing that those, that those kind of facilities, well, I think it was something that was unique yeah. and, and people really enjoyed their time. Well, I know that, um, you know, we're obviously members, but there's, uh, there's competitors there. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, at first you're kind of, you know, we've been members for years, um, right. but you know, yeah. at first you're like, okay, you know, what do I say? What do I not say? But what you found find is that there's so many, um, so much knowledge mm -hmm. um, that's all in that room that you're learning so much about the industry. So when I, when I started as a, as a young guy, um, you know, just people embraced me and, you know, taught me about things. So I've yeah. learned so much at the ABM. Well, I, I th and I think that's true. Uh, you know, the one thing that we hear constantly from first time attendees is that they didn't know what to expect yeah. and they were nervous to come. Mm -hmm. Are they going to break into the group? You know, yeah, something right. like that. And we do a lot to facilitate that. You know, I send a message out to each first timer and say, hey, who do you want to meet? Who do you want to get to know? What's your goals for the meeting? So mm. we kind of be proactive. We also give them like a buddy. They don't know it, but yeah. we're giving them somebody that's kind of helping <clears throat> them navigate. Mm -hmm. But they come back and just say, you know, um, so great. You know, people really opened up to me and opened up to me, meaning that they were that they were willing to have conversations, mm. you know, about the industry, about what's going on. Sure. And especially for suppliers. I mean, we've had a couple of uh, new burner companies join fan companies. And they say right away they've gotten some at least interest from the boiler manufacturer. Doesn't mean it's going to lead to business right away because yeah. it's a relationship building thing. Sure. But certainly that, that, that they come and there's an openness to at least having those conversations. Well, this industry is so important to the country in, in production and heating. And, you know, there's so, there's so much that the boiler business, um, you know, does for, for our country. But tell me a little bit about what, what is the ABMA? Yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, we, our tagline is leadership for the boiler industry. And I think that there was a reason why we adopted that a few years ago. Um, we, uh, 
I think historically had been a membership driven organization where all of our benefits were for the member. Mm. You come to a meeting, you, you engage with us, you, you, know, you get your um, uh, logo in a buyer's guide that we push out, uh, but we realized that there, were, there, was a, there was a bigger role for us. And the bigger role for us was to be a voice for the industry and push out information. Mm -hmm. um, let people know the great work because I think that you, you, you kind of said, the boiler industry is just not known. Yeah. And especially to end users, um, it's not their highest priority, mm. although it should be in some cases. Mm -hmm. A food processing facility it can't run unless you have a boiler. That's and right. You guys know as rental companies that you yeah. guys get these, these calls saying, I'm going to lose production if I don't have a boiler here tom tomorrow or even sometime later today, which right. sometimes you guys can't, you know, it, it's almost impossible. Sure. But, but, you know, what we want to do is we want to make sure that an end user understands uh, what the technology is that's out there today. Yeah. Uh, we were just really neat. Uh, I got to go out to Maker's Mark yesterday mm -hmm. and we visited the boiler room out there. Yeah. And they talked about how working with you guys, uh, they were able to double their production 50%, mm. but then their, their, their fuel only went up 30%, their that's fuel right. costs. Yeah. So those kinds of things, I mean, that's a payback, you know, that, that, that really happens. And yes. so, so we have our meetings, we have our events, um, we, we advocate um, with Department of Energy, EPA, mm -hmm. for uh, code changes okay. um, within the government. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, and then also one of our big uh, things is that um, we, uh, ASME and National Board are two code compliance organizations and we have members on that, on those committees. Okay. And they're kind of watching out for the manufacturer. There are other groups that are on there, mm -hmm. but they're making sure that any changes to the code are working with you know, with what we, with what our technology is today mm -hmm. and with what our needs are. And if there's an issue that pops up, um, we'll go back to the group and say, hey, you know, something happened at the ASME meeting. We'd like to get a group together to talk about this. Right. And then we'll come back with some comments. Yeah. Um, now, as far as um, when the, when the comp or when the organization was founded, yeah. I mean, this is not a new organization. No, no. No, supposedly um, some of our board members uh, did some research and we are the longest continuous trade association in the country. Oh, wow. So we were founded in 1888. Okay. And we actually have stuff in our offices from the first couple of years. That's we have awesome. a photo from a meeting that was in 1890 mm -hmm. with the legend next to it and know every single person that's in the photo. Okay. And we were founded because honestly boilers were, were exploding and people were getting hurt. And the industry came together and said, you know, we have to do something okay. to, to, to address this, you know, and it wasn't, and it was on the, you know, the user side is, you know, and so, so safety was the biggest concern. And that's still a concern today. And Absolutely. we still talk about that. You talk about that in your training here. Mm -hmm. We talk about that in many of our end user outreach that, that a boiler, you know, you need to know how to use it properly or it can have some, you know, some significant ramifications. But yeah. we've evolved over the years, but I still think safety is, a, is, is at the core of what we do. Well, it's truly kind of the, the best of the best, I think, in the yes. industry when you get in that room. Yes. But, but maybe uh, talk about what type of members, um, you know, are, are actually a part of the association. Yeah. I mean, is yeah. it just so, manufacturers? So, so, no. So, 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 the, so boiler manufacturers are probably about half the group. And, in, and they're called, we're, we call them our active members, but there's also some finished products that are in there too, which mm. is the deerators um, and, the, and the burners. Mm -hmm. um, but then we also have all of the, uh, our associate members, yeah. which include rental companies. Yes. So rental companies and, and fan companies, you know, water treatment, service, service companies, companies. Uh, you, you name it. If it's in the boiler room mm. and there's a piece in the boiler room, tube companies, we, we, we have it. At, and, and so pretty much, and what's, what, that's what's neat about actually a mobile boiler room. When mm -hmm. The first time I went into a mobile boiler room here, mm. um, I could see all our brands all over the right. place. And, right. and, and what, what amazed me was, was how many people and how many companies have to come together for one project. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. That, and there's a reason why ABMA is so valuable to them because it is. It's a, it's a, team, it's a team effort. Yeah. I mean, it's not... You know, uh, there are companies that, that make their own burners or make their own tubes, but, but in, in, in all cases, there is a piece of somebody else's company, whether it's a control, instrument, instrumentation, something right. from another company in there to make that project work. And there's, um, even in this lab right here, there's many of the ABMA members yes. um, yep. actually yep. are represented in this lab. Right, right, um, right. And, and, 
And I think that that just shows the, the breadth of our industry yeah. and, and the fact that there are all these companies coming together. Yeah. Now, um, maybe go a little bit um, in the future. Tell me right. a little bit about your vision for the ABMA. Yeah, so, so my vision for the ABMA is, is, uh, is actually something that, that you actually said to me at one mm. point, uh, mm. which, which may surprise you. But you, you said to me that, that, that ABMA is really going to be at the pinnacle mm. when, when, when I go to a company to work with them and they ask me, That's right. am I an ABMA member? Right. And, um, it needs and to mean something. Mean, mean something that, yeah. that, that it has some. I, I, the, the word cachet in the marketplace is one thing, but but just that 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 end user or that company knows that because they're engaged with ABMA, they are better informed. They are more up to date on what's going on. Mm -hmm. They they are in a group that that is the highest standard. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and so so really uh, you know and and how do you get there? Is by being out there more, and I think right. that, that you would agree that that with with uh, our enhancement on social media, some of our other activities, yeah. we're trying to be a thought leader out there. Absolutely. And uh, the mat, we 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 kind of raised our game on the magazine, and we're th and and we're, we brought back a lot of new, new white papers. We, uh, we we we're releasing a new white paper on types of boilers to help people understand not just what a what a water tube is and what a fire tube is, yeah. but why. Right. Why a fire tube? Why a water tube? Because I think those are the questions people have. Absolutely. And so, and so, if we can be, and also to the members, be a problem solver, mm. um, and uh, and that's what we're looking to do. Appreciate Scott hanging out with us and talking a little bit about the American Boiler Manufacturers Association. Now we are going to have this in two parts because we went a little long. So make sure you tune in the next time in two weeks uh, to see the second part of the episode with Scott. Come and see us at PowerGen. Don't forget, get down in Orlando, December 4th, 5th, and 6th. Come check us out. Got us a new 650 we're testing, so we're excited about that. And make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you don't mind, share a video. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.